Well, it, it helps by, um, like I said, transmitting the information. Without this, um, you, know, you wouldn't get those pulses. Now, it, this tool works great where, where like EM, where formations are, won't let that signal transmit. Then you can run this. It's, it's, it's a, um, damn, the word. Um, it's a more reliable way of drilling mud pulse. Two key components in the stepper pulser are your driver and your motor. Now these two guys work together to, to transmit the information that's gathered by your directional module. Uh, once the, uh, the pump stop, the directional module is going to gather all the information that, that's needed and the guys are going to turn the pumps back on. When those pumps come on this, this driver is going to sense the, the vibration which is called flow and it has a flow switch built in and that's your on and off switch. Once the, uh, the pumps are on the driver kicks on and it works with the motor to drive your shaft back and forth which would give you your, your pulses and what it does it just this is your, your orifice, this is your poppet tip. It drives it back and forth, restricting the flow. So, once you res restrict it, the mud goes around the pulser, under the lower end, and your, your, your pressure drops. It opens up, mud, go, mud goes through the orifice, through the lower end, restricts it, and that's where you see the pulse. Now this is driven by this, this gearbox and a few other pieces that sit around this area and that ties everything together. The motor drives the gearbox, the gearbox drives this worm gear. There's a pin that sits here that locks everything in place. Once you have that pin, you drive this and it pulls the shaft up and down. Alright, so you got the shaft. The shaft goes into your ball screw housing you have a hole in there you're supposed to align this this groove on that hole and then this is the key that holds everything together you drop it in place all right so you drop it in place and now that holds the shaft in place so when you turn your your worm gear it moves the shaft up and down Without that pin, the mechanical section would just free spin, wouldn't do anything. This is this housing. The motor sits around here, and then your gearbox, bearing, coupling sits here. Right here you have your, your membrane, and then your screen housing. If you see this this groove here, that's where you you have a poly pack, and that's what keeps the mud from getting inside and keeps the oil from come from uh, from leaking out. And this orifice sits right inside of this this window. Under this housing, the one you see here, you have this pressure bulkhead. And this is what allows you to connect your wires from your motor to your driver without losing any oil fill. So th this section here is referred to as the wet section of a stepper pulser. There's oil from your poly pack, which sits around this area, to this connector which sits around here, right above this, this oil fill plug. Now after the wires come out, they're mounted to this snubber. This is where you would, you would mount your driver.